Pete. I'm going to get you to stay here for a little bit longer, and I'm going to invite Calvin and Kim up for a little surprise for you. So, so uh, my name is Calvin Bennett, but uh, um, thank you, Pete, for being here. And uh, 80 years is a heck of a celebration. I think we just need to acknowledge that 80 years for anything to survive is just a... And it's a remarkable testament to this, uh, to this community and everything else. I remember about 10 years ago when I got, got involved. People remember this well. Uh, you know, it wasn't uh, probably the high point of uh, Manitoba Pioneer Camp, but I think things have gone so tremendously well. And Pete, um, I think you've been involved for probably about 40 of those 80 years. So I give you, you know, I give you a barely passing grade on that, so there you go. <laughs> no, I mean, where's your sense of commitment? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> uh, no, it is a real privilege for us to come up and say thank you to Pete, and there's a special award that Kim will uh, give to him in a moment that has, he's been recognized from the Canadian Camping Association. So we just wanted to acknowledge that publicly to him as well, and uh, I just wanted to say thank you to you, Pete. I, I consider you a great friend. It's been Great to be a partner in ministry with you. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your commitment. There is a great cloud of witnesses that will be in heaven because of the lifetime of commitment that you have put into, um, well, into camp in general, but to Manitoba Pioneer. And truly, thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. Good evening. My name is Kim Scherger. I'm Executive Director for Manitoba Camping Association, of which Manitoba Pioneer Camp is a part of. And one of the things I want to say before what I came here to say is, um, as you were talking, Pete, about community, um, one thing that comes to mind is um, I used to direct Luther Village Camp in northwestern Ontario, so Pioneer is kind of one of our neighbors, although it was still quite a distance away. And um, one of the first times that I was, I think the first time actually, I was at Pioneer Camp. We were there to do the accreditation visit. And I remember you greeting us as we came off the boat and using washrooms and things. And you just really made us all um, feel absorbed into the camp life. We were there as the accreditation team. And um, we were coming to just look and to visit the site to make sure things were happening um, as Pete had said they were. And they were. It was um, incredible just how he made us feel such a part of community, like with our first steps onto land after being off the boat. So um, community is a huge part of who you are. So thank you for that. Earlier this week, um, we had a conference for Manitoba Camping Association and Christian Camping International. Um, Neil was there, Pete was there, Nate was there. Was there anyone else from your camp? I feel like that was the three of you. Yeah, okay. And there, while we were there, <clears throat> we recognized Pete for an award that he won from the Canadian Camping Association. And um, it was an idea, I think, of um, both Neil and Sharon's to present that tonight in front of Pete's people, who are all of you. And so this is the information that was submitted to Canadian Camping Association, and we'll show the award as well for him. Pete Drifter, now I know why you were called Drifter, thank you. <clears throat> Pete Drifter Dearborn has served at Manitoba Pioneer Camp for nearly 30 years, but more like 40 years is what it sounds like. Okay. Before that, Pete's first camp was Moose Lake in Manitoba, and he also has worked at Crow's Nest Lake Bible Camp in Alberta and at Stony Lake Bible Camp in Saskatchewan. Pete has hosted the MCA camps, busloads of directors at Manitoba Pioneer Camp for day trips and to have training sessions for directors after the tour with regards to such topics as boat safety, construction, policies, and other things. He has led training events and discussion groups for the MCA and the CCI at our Provincial Camping Association conferences over the years, and Pete is the one who was always wise in education and explanation. Pete was instrumental in working with the MCA and Transport Canada when there were big issues around boat safety and licensing. He helped educate camps, discuss the issues with Transport Canada on behalf of the MCA in regards to changes for boating and licensing. Some of these took place at our MCA conferences over a few years and with the MCA executive director and board. Pete has also been a part of accreditation visits over the years for the MCA. 
So you've heard just a very in general, you know Pete more personally about his involvement with camp and all the people who he has affected, both the leadership team and campers who have come to camp. And Pete is one of those reasons why um, camps are so productive in what they do and the things that they do for campers and staff across the province. So Pete, I want to congratulate you and again present this lovely award to you from the Canadian Camping Association. If I can get it out. It's a absolutely gorgeous award. You'll have to come see it close up afterwards. But Pete, here is a word of excellence to you from the Canadian Camping Association. <laughs> 